That's looking really good. It looks nice and complex. It's summer here in New Zealand, but it's actually really cold down here on the beach today. It's probably about 8 or 9 degrees, but there's a bit of a wind chill. We're going to look for anything cool today. I don't know this area very well. Um, it's Eocene. And I'm seeing a lot of trace fossils in the cliff over here. So all these little squiggly marks over here are probably burrows. Um, from creatures that used to live on this sediment over here. This used to be the, the bottom of the ocean. So I'm hoping we can find some cool things that have washed out here. I'm not looking so much in the cliff as to the areas or the rocks that have washed out. Normally they'll wash out in concretions probably in this area as well. So it's a lot easier to find them down here on the beach where they've already eroded out of the cliff. This one over here. It's also got lots of trace fossils going on there. I think they're trace fossils. The tide's still pretty high. We'll try not get wet shoes. <laughs> There's quite a few of these iron pyrite nodules in the cliff. I always wonder if they would polish up nicely. They're very heavy, they're like proper iron. Yeah, if I find one that looks like it's got potential for polishing. I'll grab it. Let me see if you can polish it at home. Oh, looks like that's the one. There's another cool trace fossil over there. Even looks like it's got a little bit of a a tooth impression there. I don't think it is, but a little triangle over there. Makes me think of a tooth. There's a, another bit of iron pyrite, fool's gold in there. This one's got beautiful rainbow colors on it. about an hour into the hunt and I found my first piece of bone and it looks like a good piece I'm quite excited have a look down here it's a bone cluster it's not just one bone you can see where's that bone now there's a definite piece of bone sticking out there it's a cross section of a bone over there and it's got that cancerous tissue that honeycombing going on so I'm really sure that's a piece of bone and then there's a few more bits scattered throughout here including this one over here which reminds me so much of that marlin eye um, from that marlin skull I found so it'd be awesome if this is another piece of marlin yeah I'm stoked with that this is a good find I was not expecting it <laughs> I was actually talking to um, a, someone walking their dog on the beach and they were asking what I was looking for and I was like well I'm looking for bone <laughs> I actually found it as I was talking to someone that was walking their dog they were asking what I was looking for I was like well fossil bones and I was telling them how old it was and I'm like well like this piece over here <laughs> and this is what I found as I was talking them <laughs> That's an awesome piece. I'm going to guess it's either a fish or a turtle. Okay, let me get all the GPS info. Take some photos of where I found it. And let's find some more. 
just found what looks like sea urchin spines or some kind of coral over here on the cliff. I'm wondering if someone recognizes it. It goes from about there all the way, all the way, all the way to there. So I don't think it's a sea urchin, just because the sea urchins are fine in cliffs are normally um, concentrated in one area, like you would imagine a sea urchin to be. And this one's quite spread out. So I'm wondering what it is. If you know, uh, please leave a comment. That's a cool septarian concretion. So it's got calcite veins going throughout it. Beautiful one. I think this is another septarian concretion. It used to be round, but it's broken. It's quite a cool looking one though. So yeah, it's like a concretion of finding the crabs and except it's got calcite in the middle. I see something up the cliff over there. Where is it going now? There. there. It's in the middle of the screen now. You can probably see it better on screen than I can see it, because I've zoomed in quite a bit. It looks interesting, so let's go see what it is. <laughs> it's just a shell. I've seen those around, so I don't think it's a fossil shell. It's probably been about five kilometers of walking since the last fossil, but I think I finally see a bit of bone down here. I just saw it peeking over the top over there. I haven't looked at it yet properly, so let's see what it is. That's definitely bone. It's only a fragment, so I'm not sure what it's from. It's only a fragment and I'm not sure what it's from. There's a lot of turtle bone over here, so... I wonder if it could be from that. Well, I'll take it back with me. Maybe we can figure it out. Back where I found that first bone fragment, that first bone cluster, um, about two hours ago I found there, and I'm on my way back now, and I found another bone cluster at the back there. Let's go have a look. Let me know if you can see it, I haven't picked it up yet. Hopefully it's from the same animal as the first one, that'd be awesome. They're very close together, so it could be. It's that rock in the middle of the screen over there. You can just see a bit of bone sticking out there at the top. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking nice and complex. That's looking really good, it looks nice and complex. Mm. 
not sure yet what it is. It does remind me of turtle shell that I've seen online. Yeah, it's definitely bone though. 48 million year old bone, that's always a great find. I was hoping for one bit of bone today, but never mind three. <laughs> it turned into a really good hunt. The more I look at this bone cluster, the better it gets. I think we're looking at the back of the skull over here. So I think this is the back of the skull. And just look how symmetrical it is. You've got this bone over here. It's right in the middle of the concretion. And you've almost got like a vertebra at the back here. It almost looks like the processes of a vertebra. So that could be, you know, the last vertebra before it goes into the skull. And then you've got these bones going off on either side over here. And this reminds me so much of the eye. So this is the top of the skull. Once again, very symmetrical. You've got these weird bones kind of radiating out. And let me show you all something really amazing. This is that billfish skull from the same formation you can see there's the eye over there. It's missing the top section over there. And here's the one I found now, two years later. And it's got the top section of an eye. And it's the top part of a skull. What we've got here, this is the top of the skull over here. There's the eye over here. The missing eye would have been around about there. And then this section kind of lines up over there and this eye or this little bit of remaining eye is kind of where it would have been. So I'm not saying this is from the same animal, these two, but it lines up really well. So there's no eye there, but I've got the eye over there. So even if it's not from the same animal, I think it could be from the same kind of species at least. Yeah, even if it's not from the same species, it will give a clearer picture of the bullfish from this area. And it's just really cool because it's the section I'm missing from this skull. So these bones at the back here could be quite important. Well, what a great find. <laughs> imagine it's actually from the same animal thanks so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed that hunt i'm very excited about these two bone clusters i'm gonna go see if i can make them fit into the skull <laughs> if they do fit it's gonna be so amazing stay safe i'll see you on the next hunt mm -hmm.